a little bit more exciting than they would be for a normal win in the regular season to hang on and get this one today? Yeah, well, hang on is a good good way to put it, too. Um, but uh, certainly, guys competed extremely hard tonight. The emotion uh, was there. And obviously, physicality was there. Um, great start. And, uh, and, you know, obviously, I think now getting a win, maybe that'll help. We can start to build some confidence. Um, you could see that we kind of, as the game wore on, we started, especially after they scored the power play goal, started to play on our heels a little bit as opposed to kind of having that attack mindset that we want to have. But we certainly did, did defend hard. We just defended too much. But, uh, but in the end, um, the effort of the guys and the play of Carter, um, that's what uh, got us a big win. There obviously, you know, this month have been a few games where you guys had a lead in late in the third and weren't able to hold on to right. it. What was different about this one that allowed you guys to hold on to this lead? Well, I, I still think we can be better, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, but again, I mean, I, I think that, uh, well, a couple things. I mean, first of all, you get, again, a guy like Brownie, you see him blocking a shot right at the end of the game and, and big face-offs, uh, you get him back. Uh, and Brass coming back in the lineup, Joel, uh, those guys uh, certainly added some for us, but uh, you know, I, I would say just maybe it made us a bit of a deeper lineup where you know we've got uh, shift after shift guys that are going out there, and um, the commitment to each other was there. Night, uh, you know, right from the drop of the puck. Again, I think we can be better. I think that we, uh, you know, we don't want to be a team that just defends all night with you know when we're playing with the lead. We want to stay on the attack and extend that lead. Uh, but uh, but I think the the effort was was very evident uh, tonight. Mike, you mentioned that block shot by, by Patrick. Uh, I'm sure that probably hurt, but how much of a winning play is that? Well, that, that? That's the best way to put it is, is it's a winning play, and that's what we're trying to teach and understand. And, and uh, those plays, you know, you have to understand that those plays happen throughout the game. They can happen with three seconds left. Uh, but it can also happen in the second period. You know, obviously it's a learning opportunity for uh, for Ratter. You know, not taking that penalty in that situation and those things. Uh, you know, we'll continue to teach. And he's it's an effort play. He's trying to play hard. He's trying to play physical. But um, but we know that he'll learn that, and we know that the guys will continue to learn. Uh, you know, again there will be a lot of video. You know, I, I think that we approach the same game the same way. You know, every game as far as uh, taking the good from the the game and showing that and showing what it looks like and taking the bad. Um, trying to create the understanding that we're always in control, and uh, and that's what good teams have is that mindset. When you got Ristolainen back from his last injury, you said the tenor of practice changes. How much did he make his presence felt on this game? Today? Yeah, he 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 enjoys playing against that team because obviously they've got some physical players, and uh, and uh, you know Risto, he it doesn't seem to take much to to, to drag him into the fight, and so um, you know I think that you look at. Uh, our second goal, and obviously, uh, um, you know, getting the kill was massive at that time. Uh, but the play he makes behind the net, you know, physically, um, and then to recover that puck and then make the play to, to allow us to get on the attack. Um, he did that a number of times. He got an assist on that play tonight. But, uh, um, you know, there was three, four instances where they've got pressure in our zone, they've got control, and he's able to go in and just kill the play. And you can talk about positioning all you want, but you've got to kill plays and you've got to be physical to, to, to get them to stop, to separate them from the puck. And uh, and I thought that he was huge tonight. Was it a pre-game emphasis to, to stand up to those guys physically? Obviously, you had Risto with a lot of hits. You also had Zach McEwen dropping the gloves with the Thomas. Yeah. And, or is it just sort of when you go into a game with these guys, just everyone knows what kind of game it's going to be? I think that's part of it, but I also think that we're, I, you know, I, I, I believe that we're starting to create a little bit of an identity like that, you know, where, um, you know, we don't want to be responding to what other teams do. We want to be initiating, and I think that our physicality is – has, has been there pretty consistently. It doesn't mean we're going to fight every night, but the other team should know that they're in the game as far as making their D turn and go back and face the glass and uh, being physical on them and finishing checks and sticking up for each other. Um, you know, I think that we've been doing a pretty good job of that. You know, even even guys, obviously, we've got a guy like Mac who he knows what his role in, Risto, obviously. Um, but, uh, but I think that when we're playing our best, uh, you know, even guys like TK, Lots, uh, you know, Cam, everybody can play with an edge. Uh, doesn't mean you're running around, but it does mean you play with an edge and you play physically. Mike, I want to go back to the third, to the third period again. Um, even though you said you want to attack more, do you, do you at least feel like in this game you, you defended, you forced them to come further? In other words, yeah. you defended further up the ice. Yes, I, I do. That's, I mean, no question. I, 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 
and, and by attack, it doesn't mean that we just want to go and try to skate through them and score a goal. It means we want to play with the puck and we want to force them to defend. And, you know, and, and obviously uh, there might be some opportunities off the rush and we want to take advantage of those. But there's other times where it just means getting in, into the deep part of the offensive zone, uh, you know, still continuing to have a hard forecheck so you can recover that puck and then being strong on that puck, not losing it and, and still continuing to shoot pucks. So, um, you know, I, I do think that the first step is that, that you're right. We did force them to come 200 feet. We did force them to come through five guys. I thought we protected the middle of the ice well. I thought we did a lot of good things. Details were there. Uh, guys block shots. Uh, but again, I, I think that uh, we, you know, getting this win, hopefully that, that helps kind of, okay, that, that, you know, we've lost some games. Let's, let's get that out of the way. We know that we can win again. Now let's just take a deep breath and let's just play a little bit more confident in that situation. But we did defend with confidence and we did defend hard. We spoke earlier this week about the importance of getting Cam Atkinson going again from a playmaking standpoint, just an execution standpoint. What did you see from him today? You know what? Like, um, you know what? One thing that I noticed, and I, I haven't had a chance to talk to him about it yet, but uh, um, I noticed that he was kind of having fun yesterday in practice. You guys were there. You had the binoculars out, right? <laughs> but you saw you saw Cam going up against Risto, and 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 he was having fun. And uh, he's such a competitor. He's such a warrior that it, it's hard, you know, if like this, it's a lot easier if you come to the rink and you're having fun, you're enjoying yourself, um, you know, to go out there and to perform. And, you know, especially for a guy like that who wears his emotions on the sleeve, on his sleeve. And um, so I thought, I, I felt pretty good that he was going to come out and play well today. And I was happy to see him get rewarded in the first period. Uh, he's put a lot of pressure on himself. Um, and uh, and obviously when the team's not doing well, he, you know, that's a guy that uh, it just eats him alive. So getting the win today is really good for him. For him to have some personal success is really good for him. And, and uh, now I'd like to see us keep building off it. I feel like we've been building our game, um, and, uh, and now we've got to make sure that the results follow it.